Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to do file sharing in VirtualBox. So, in this session, we are going to see two scenarios. One is the file sharing from the host machine to the Linux guest VM. In the second scenario, we would see how the file sharing happens from the host machine to Windows guest VM. So, let's start. So, this is my VirtualBox. I have already started two machines. One is Ubuntu and this windows so first we will check the file sharing in ubuntu machine uh, for file sharing first of all we need to have a folder in the host machine which needs to be shared to the guest vms so let me create a folder here i am creating a folder called test folder so under this test i will put some files maybe uh, some text files test1.txt and another file test2.txt so we can add any content here so this is like testing and we can put some test content as well so these are the two files which will be shared to the guest guest vm when we share a folder from the host using virtualbox so now so let me log into our linux machine which is ubuntu machine so I will open a terminal here. So this this is my desktop folder. So here I will I will try to mount that shared folder which is from the host machine that we need to install uh, insert guest editions. So first of all, just click on it. So once we click on it, it will ask us an option to run it. Now we need to run it. So provide the admin password. So once we provide the admin password, actually it will try to run those uh, guest editions. So these guest editions will, will be installed in this Ubuntu machine. So he, here it is asking us uh, to install these uh, libraries before doing that. So let me install uh, these three libraries like GCC, Make and Perl. So sudo opt get install GCC, Make and Perl. So now these three libraries are getting installed. So let's let's wait for it. So now the three libraries are installed. Let me reinstall our guest editions. So for doing that, we need to check uh, the file system. So this is the device actually, and this is mounted on this media. So this contains our VirtualBox guest edition softwares. Let me go inside this uh, media directory. So if you go inside this directory and there is one file called virtualbox linux editions dot on file so we need to run that so now our virtual box guest editions is getting installed in this machine now the guest edition software is installed so let let us share the folders before restarting the machine so go to devices and click on share folders click on share folder settings so once we do that just there is select uh, machine folders and click on this add button once we add so we need to add the folder path of the host machine so this is the folder path of the host machine we need to add and the mount point will be the mount point in our target machine means which is our guest machine uh, our ubuntu machine okay so let me add the folder path so this is the folder path in the host machine where we have those text files and in the mount point we can add uh, anything so let let me add uh, slash home our admin user and desktop and uh, some shared folder okay some shared directory i'm adding so this is the path where exactly this folder will be mounted in our linux environment so i will we need to select auto mount option as well just click on okay So once we uh, once we do that, uh, we we can check it whether if the folder is there or not. If you see here, uh, a shared directory is already created. Let us try to go inside. It will say permission denied because uh, we don't have the permission as of now. So let us restart the machine. Uh, So 
So now the machine is restarted. Let me log into the machine again. So I will open a terminal. If I give ls minus lrt, then our shared directory is there. And if you see, after restarting the machine, our group is changed to vbox sf means virtual box shared folder. So if, if I try to go inside the shared directory, it is saying like permission denied because our admin user is not part of this group. So let us try to add that uh, admin user to this group. Okay. So user mod hyphen a hyphen g. The group name is vbox sf and our username is admin user. So now our admin user is part of that group. So uh, let me once once we add our user, then also we, we need to restart our machine. Okay, to change this get affected. So before that, we can also check that. So still it is saying permission denied. We need to reboot our machine once again. So do reboot. So I'm logging into the machine again. So let's open the terminal. Type lsm ls lrt. So this is our directory. Let me go inside now. We are part of our vbox sf group. Okay. So here actually what we have done. Uh, so now uh, those two files are shared here. Okay. So that is what we wanted. For example, if I if I create some other file here, that should go inside that folder as well. Now, if you see it, test3.txt I have created here, and this file should be shared in the Windows machine. If you see, uh, that is visible in the host machine as well. So, this is the way how we have shared the folder from the host machine to the guest VM inside VirtualBox. So, the guest VM here is of Linux type, which is Ubuntu in this case. We can do for other operating system types as well, like CentOS, Fedora, etc. Here, here, we have rebooted our machine twice. One is after installing guest editions and second one is after after sharing the folders from the host machine to our target VM. Okay. So, uh, now let's see how we share our folder from a host machine to a Windows virtual machine. So let me go to our Windows virtual machine. So this is my Windows virtual machine which is already running. So, so what we need to do. So, so the first step is we need to install our guest editions. So go to devices and click on insert guest editions. So after doing that, just go to a folder and if you if you see here, if you go to our PC, then there is an option called virtual box guest edition. So just double click on Windows editions AMD64, just double click on it. So this this will install our virtual box guest editions inside windows box so it is asking to reboot now or i want to manually reboot later let us click on i want to manually reboot later because we will share the folder as well just double click on it just click on it and click on finish now our guest edition software is installed let us share the folders from the host machine to the guest vm now click on devices click on shared folders and select shared folder settings select machine folders and click on add button so we have to add our folder path here just copy the folder so this is the folder on the host machine so we, we do not need to give any mount point here so just select auto mount click ok now click ok again now reboot our machine So I am logging in again. So now I have relogged to the machine. Just open File, File Explorer. Now we can see uh, there is a shared drive here. Just go inside. Now we can see the files which are shared to the guest VM via host machine using VirtualBox. So this is the way how we can share a folder from host machine to the Windows guest VM.
uh, now we have checked two scenarios one is the file sharing from the host machine to linux guest pm and there is how uh, another scenario is how to share the files from the host machine to windows guest pm so thanks a lot for watching if you like the video please like and subscribe